feel me. <laughs> Stop. Captain, come here. They know the sound. So, this one is Valentina. That one's Coco. This is Mocha over here. Tajin is over there with the polka dots. Cookie's out there on the back. And then that little white one is honey bun. The mama's honey bun. Oh yeah, the big one, the mama is honey bun. And the baby is lima. And the babies get fed in here. We made the little door so only the babies fit. And they're getting kind of big now so they kind of struggle to fit in but they still fit. Get in there. They still fit in. Barely though, but they still fit. Is this empty, mama? This is empty. You want some? So, kind of like the whole idea of why we got sheep <laughs> was so that we could uh, teach the kids about where our food comes from. So, uh, we do raise our sheep to be eaten and we do from time to time uh, harvest the lamb here and there uh, for the most part they're kind of like our pets so we just feed them get them fat and then we let them roam around the yard and they do a pretty good job helping me mow the lawn all of our sheep except for those two white ones are dorper and I don't know why we got into Dorpers, but that was what was around here and that's what we ended up buying, so. And as you noticed, um, all of our sheep have weird names like Wakamaya, that one, uh, is that peanut butter? I think that little black one right there is peanut butter. Mocha, tahin, honey bun, cookie, uh, Valentina, and mocha. And I think that one over there is called Cheerio. So, and then over there you met Captain earlier. Captain so Crunch actually is his it's, full name. I guess if you're not familiar with him, he's Captain Crunch to you. And anyway, the reason we name all of our animals like this is because uh, we name them after pantry items because in case we do eat one of them uh, I guess he was named after a pantry item and in my mind it's easier to eat them that way you guys finished your stuff already no you guys still have plenty of stuff why are you guys out there